morning. Morning. It is nine o'clock on Friday, August 5th, and I am at the Herb Lake Access Halliburton Highland Water Trails, and I'm here with my friend Tam. And we've got our kayaks today, and uh, we're just heading on to uh, a campsite right on Herb Lake. I think it's number 106. Um, just doing a one-nighter, but uh, it's nine o'clock in the morning. We have all day. It's supposed to be 30 degrees today. I think feels like 34. Um, so we're just here to do some relaxing, enjoy some amazing food that we've got packed. I brought something totally different that I've never brought camping before. So um, we're going to get our kayaks packed up and get on the water. It's already 27 degrees this morning. Really? Yeah, I just heard it on the radio when I was parking the car. So there's three cars here at the access, but I checked the uh, reservations on the map yesterday and all of the campsites except for one was booked last night um, in addition to the one we're staying on. So that's why I'm here this early because I know nobody's there today and uh, someone's going to be camping there tomorrow or well, someone's booked to camp there tomorrow. So we'll have to get off the site by noon, but we have all day today to enjoy this gorgeousness. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful August summer day. What you got there? One blueberry. One blueberry, and I got one blueberry. Mine's just like a, a blueberry, because it's really tiny. <laughs> I just said to Tam, I'm surprised that there's still blueberries here, and we only found two, but hey, two's better than none. We're now on our campsite. Um, it's very sheltered, which is nice because it's going to be super hot and um, it wasn't actually the campsite we thought it was, <laughs> but that's okay. It's still pretty nice and uh, we're just exploring it now. So I'll give you a tour after we get everything set up. I'm just, uh, of course, going to find my favorite spot, which is the privy. I keep seeing the sign, but looks like it's quite a... Quite an adventure to get there. Doo, 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 doo. There it is. What is that like four, 400 meters? Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty good walk, but I guess it's okay. You don't want it near camp. There it is. It is a gem. Oh dear. Okay. Well, at least you have a nice view when you go to the bathroom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, filming. I'm always filming. Oh, God. <laughs> Forgot about me, uh, huh? That's probably the best view you'll ever have. Going to the yeah, and people can see you when they're paddling by. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. All right, so it's quarter after 10. Uh, we're just unloading the kayaks. Tam's got all her stuff in her giant Walmart bags. <laughs> And uh, I brought everything up except the bug shelter. Um, I have a feeling we're not going to need it, but I don't want to jinx us, so I'll just bring it up. Uh, so I'll show you a quick little tour of the campsite. A little bit of a hill coming up. And here's all my crap. <laughs> nice fire pit here. And uh, tent pads are back there. Preview is that way. And over here, there's a couple of walkway pathways. Um, this one here has a little opening. Uh, I believe that the sun's going to be setting there. So that'll be a nice place to sit. Um, also by the boats, there's a nice place to swim there. Um, the water just drops right off. It's actually super, super hot out today, but being in the shade and there's a nice breeze blowing, so it's really, really comfortable on the campsite actually seems to be perfectly suited for today. And then there's a, a little walkway here. That takes you out to this side. And I believe the sun is going to be coming up uh, over on this, in this direction. Yeah, there's all these cool rocks and stuff that you can sit on. Um, I believe the sun will be shining on this area very soon. And uh, probably where we're going to be spending a bit of time uh, later today sitting in the sun and going for a swim. So that's it for now. We're going to uh, set up camp. Um, there is only one, technically one spot for a tent uh, according to the website for Halliburton. 
And when we tried to look up the campsite and I went to book it, I put two tents in and it wouldn't come up as available. And that's when I figured it out. But uh, we found two spots that we think we can use. So we're gonna set up there. And we'll be fairly close to each other, but that's okay. And uh, just figure it out and make it work. All right, it's uh, 11.20. Just kind of having a slow morning here. Tam and I have our tents set up here. Um, it's a really nice spot. Seems to be good. We've set up the chairs over here by the fire pit. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of firewood gathering. And then we're gonna go out for a paddle and explore the lake. Beautiful, beautiful day here in Halliburton. Let's go. All right, we are in the boats and we are off. We're going to do some exploring. Uh, <laughs> we're supposed to do firewood first, so we went on one run and just collected like two big handfuls of stuff. And uh, the water's so nice and calm, we just had to get out. So we're gonna go out for a paddle and then we'll come back and have some lunch. So pretty out here. Have a little friend landed on my finger here so pretty i don't think that you can see this but the wings are super super shiny like they're almost iridescent and uh she's quite beautiful i got a new friend tam's really jealous it's the only wildlife we've encountered see the wings i don't know if you can see them in there trying. My finger only bends so many ways. <laughs> I don't want it to take off. Oh, Tam's taking it. Oh, she's gone. I looked over. I looked over. Oh, she came to visit Tam. She went over to visit Tam. She's sitting on the bucket. It's 12.30 and uh, we just got done exploring that little uh, creek area there. It was really, really pretty. And uh, I think we're going to go check out this campsite 88. Nobody's here yet. And uh, see what it's like. Maybe stop and have lunch there. And then continue uh, paddling the rest of the lake. <laughs> There's deer flies. But we're on a windy spot. So hopefully that'll help. We just stopped at one of the campsites to have lunch. I have a wrap. Do you have a lunch? I do. What do you have for lunch? Mm -hmm. I got grilled chicken, lettuce cheese. Wow. That looks like a fancy wrap from a restaurant. Oh, it's all wet. Uh oh. Soggy wrap. Yeah, soggy wrap. I have um, smoked chicken breast with ha 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 moo. Um, and then I have. Shudo salami with ha 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 moo. 
There's a thing we can do too. Mm -hmm. The lettuce and cheese, do you have tomatoes? Well, we finished our lunch and we've moved on um, from the upper part of the lake and we are now heading in towards Ernest. Uh, there are three campsites on Ernest, but I'm showing one is just a day use, I think. Um, and they're all number 89. There's 89, 89A, and 89B. And there's a little bay, I believe, I can't remember which one it is, I think it's 89A. That is the one that I stayed on with Kevin uh, in 2017 or 2018. We were here doing a trip, and um, it's a really nice campsite. It's just at the end of the lake, the very, very end. Uh, but that one was already booked. <laughs> and uh, over to the right of it, I believe, there's kind of like a little bay area where you can kind of paddle in. It's a little bit swampy, but mirror conditions, kind of like what we were in earlier, um, but not as big. So. Just going to check out the other side of the lake and just see what's going on, do a little bit of paddling um, before we head back to camp and uh, open up a few pops and maybe sit in a hammock, go for a swim. Oh, there's so much left to do today. I'm excited. <laughs> so we're just down at the other end of Ernest. Uh, in front of me, I believe, is the campsite that I stayed on with Kevin Callan, the happy camper, a couple of years ago. And um, there's a little bay, a little creek in behind the campsite here that I remember being really pretty. So Tam and I are going to go check it out. And then after that, we'll probably head back to camp. just beautiful out here, super quiet, there's nobody out here. Um, I've seen a couple people at the campsites and paddling, but it's very, very quiet and it's really nice. Where are we at here? Uh, we're at the very back of um, Herb Ernest Lake. We're at the back of Ernest Lake and there's a little waterway here and I believe there's a little bit of a waterfall. I just remembered, I heard it when we came around the corner. Um, it's really, really pretty here, isn't it? Very pretty. Yeah. All right, I found a way to get over, well, to the waterfalls. I can actually go down the waterfalls. <laughs> My boat was smaller. This should take me right to it. in the water. Oh, there's the falls from another perspective. Tam wanted to go check out the portage and see if we could see anything more. So there they are, one of them. I think there might be a few. And I believe they are called Brandy Falls. Looks like there might be a little bit more over here. I was just paddling by and saw a little turtle. Oh, I just missed him. I caught him, I think. <laughs> he was sitting there for so long and I flew right past it. I was racing to get out of the uh, swampy area because the deer fly were just all over me. And I blew right past and I was like, Tam, turtle. <laughs> did you get it? On my good camera, I did. Nice. So this picture here is the one that Tam took. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Tam also filmed this cool video of the turtles swimming right beside her boat. It is about quarter after two and we're just in the uh, narrow waterway, it's my favorite part, um, in between um, Herb and Ernest. And uh, we're just heading back to the campsite to uh, have some pops and maybe go for a swim. It's so hot out. Well, in no time at all, we've made it back to the campsite. So, so quiet here. It's absolutely beautiful. There's nobody out and about and uh, we know there are other people here, but we can't hear them and we don't see them and 
that's perfectly great with me. <laughs> We're going to dock the boats and uh, go for a swim, I think. Well, we're back at camp. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. What you got there? Uh, Muskoka spirits. Muskoka spirits. Dillberry? Dillberry and lemon. Nice. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And I've got a pineapple, mandarin, orange, palm day. Cheers. Cheers. So I'm walking along on my way to the water and there's a snake right here in the trail. I had my hands full of all my luggage going down to sit in the sunshine, but uh, it was kind enough to wait for me to take a little video of it and uh, it hasn't moved. So I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Are you cold? <laughs> I'm not cold. I'm because just got like your blanket on? Protecting myself from the sun rays. Oh. I should try doing that. As I shove my face with carrots. Well, you're eating carrots, so you're eating healthy food. You're trying to protect your skin. Sounds like I'm the one in the wrong here. I'm just like all in the sun and I'm trying to get super hot because I want to jump in the water. I want to have that awe moment because it is so freaking hot out here. Just ready to jump in. <laughs> Canadian judges give a seven and a half out of ten. four o'clock here on Friday August 5th and uh, just got out of the water I'm just hanging out here this is the perfect summer day today it's super hot I'm in a beautiful place it's quiet there's no people I've got a lake to swim in I've got good food to eat I've got a couple pops I've got good company it doesn't get much better than this this is the absolute perfect summer day well, it's about 5.45 and this is the scene here on Herb Lake at Campsite 106. Got a nice little fire started. Uh, I'm going to wait about 20 minutes or so and uh, get dinner going. <laughs> Something I've never made before in the backcountry, ever. What's up? <laughs> Looks like dinner. It's dinner time. And today I am having something in the backcountry that I've never had before on a backcountry camping trip. I have got, or we have got, ribs. <laughs> Honey garlic ribs. I'm going to put them in this foil here and put them on the grill. They just need to be heated up for like 10 minutes. Usually it's 10 minutes, I think, at 350 in the oven. So we'll just slap them on the barbecue until they get nice and like browned up and crackly and crusty. 
And then to go with it, I made a pasta salad. So this is just uh, rotini pasta. It's got Greek and feta and oregano dressing, or craft, I think it is. Uh, one chopped tomato, one, a half a chopped cucumber, and some chunks of cheese. It's very important that you make the cheese into chunks because if you shred it, it just evaporates into the salad dressing, which is still good, but it's nice to bite in the little chunks of cheese. So, so that's in a Ziploc bag. This has been in a cooler bag all day uh, with some ice on it. And um, I'm gonna get these ready and put them on the fire and I'll be back in a bit. Ooh, that's looking nice and crispy. Yum. All right, it's 20 after six and uh, there's our dinner for tonight. What do you think, Tam? It's look pretty good? It looks pretty good. Yeah, let's eat. Yum, yum, yum. This is our view here. Uh, beautiful Herb Lake today. Super, super quiet out here today. Awesome. How was your dinner? It was good. Delicious. Yeah? How was yours? It was good. That was a really, really good backcountry meal. I mean, there's we know we get the bones left, but we ate all the pasta salad. I had to eat some of it at home before I came to make sure that there wasn't too much. But um, because I knew it was going to be so hot today, I didn't want to bring a dessert to make on the fire because we've actually moved probably 20 feet away from the fire pit so we could be in the shade. Uh, video might not be the best quality because we're in the shade, but... We can't sit in the sun, it's just too hot, and it's like 7 o'clock at night. So, um, for dessert, I brought these cookies. They're celebration cookies, and they have caramel inside them, chocolate on the outside, and they're very delicious. So, they were in the cooler up until just a few minutes ago, and all of the ice is gone now, and all of the cold stuff is gone now, so we have to eat these before they melt. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. So good. Well, Tam was hot, so she went back in the water. And now I'm sitting here in the sun dying, so I'm going to move back to the shade <laughs> before I get in the water, too. Well, it's 8.30, and... Um... We just came out to the, uh, I guess we'll call it the swimming spot, the back deck, <laughs> uh, just to check out the sky. There's not really too much happening. The sun went behind the trees about 10 minutes ago. Um, a couple of parties of people came in uh, by canoe. Uh, I think there were four canoes in total that went over there. And um, we're just hanging out, just uh, chilling by the fire. And it's finally starting to cool down a little bit. Oh, it's getting pretty late. It's about quarter after 10 and we're sitting here by the fire and ready to call it a night soon. It's been a long day. Super awesome day. Perfect summer day. Well, good morning from Herbal Lake. It is five after six on Saturday, August 6th. <laughs> Just waiting to see if the sky is going to do anything spectacular with the sunrise, but uh, so far just have a light pinky peach color, pretty much the same as the sunset last night. So, might go back to bed. Well, we went on a little trail. Okay, we made a trail <laughs> and hiked out to this rock. Um, our rocks are kind of over there. But this one was sticking out and it wasn't too far from us so we could come over and watch the sun come up and it's up nothing super spectacular but uh it's pretty it's a little bit prettier in person a lot of mist coming off the water and the sun's rays are filtering through it but it doesn't seem like i'm catching it on the camera too good but there it is Beautiful start to another gorgeous day here in Halliburton. What you doing? <laughs> Making eggs. Making eggs? Looking pretty good. 
Canberra breakfast today. We've got some bacon, cheese, and egg wraps. Bacon's all nice and warmed up, and uh, cheese is all cut on the wraps, and you just have to dump the eggs in when they're ready. Easy peasy. I got my breakfast wrap. It is so good. Thanks, Tam. Well, it's 9.30, just taking our time here. We just finished packing up the tents and uh, I've got all our bags kind of filled up by the boats. We just have our, our two chairs left. We're just sitting here chilling for a bit and uh, we're gonna go for a little paddle around the lake before we head out. Well, it's quarter after 11. We're back at the access. We just kind of dawdled in, the wind was behind us, so we just let it push us. How was your trip? How was your day? It was a great day yesterday. It was the perfect summer day. Perfect summer day. It was hot <laughs> and uh, swimming was great. Yeah. You? Food? The food was good. Food was good. <laughs> Very good. Food was good. Yeah. yeah. We had beautiful weather. That's and it. overnight temperatures were phenomenal. Oh for yeah, it was supposed to be really hot and it went down to 14 and it was just so comfortable sleeping. It was just beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to pack up the car and uh, make our way out. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks for inviting me. As always, such yeah. a good time. You're such a great camping partner. I love camping with Tam. I'll camp with her any chance I can get, which isn't that often, but I think last time was almost three months ago, in middle May. of May. Yeah, middle of May. So uh, what is it now? August, September, October, November. Hopefully, maybe October. We'll see. Fall and, trip. Yeah, fall trip. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. and We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.